Welcome to Foundation. Alpha 1.5 point something something something. I am going to play this while deciding what the heck to do with Dwarf Fortress. Uh, the, the new version isn't 100% there, Dwarf uh, DF hack isn't quite crystallized yet, all these various things, I'm not quite ready, I don't know if I want to do a single player uh, based on the world art exists, when the world art exists is not yet prepped for the new one, but if I do that, I will be wicked out of date with the version, so I am not entirely sure what I want to do yet, but this, this game should be good for a few episodes that will buy me some time. I've been doing a lot of coastal. I still think it's my favorite. The Every map is the same. Well, not from each other, but you know, it's not randomly generated coastal or anything like that. So let's go. Alrighty then, here we are. Here we are. These hexagons represent places you can start. I pretty much always start here. I wonder if I should want to do any of the others. Uh, up here in the hinterlands. I actually don't know what hinterlands really means. I don't know about this one. Uh-oh, my cat is going to start meowing. But no, the, this whole map seems to be geared around this spot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Boink. Here we go. You have a new quest. Build a village center. This... I have found over playing this multiple times recently, I kind of want the village center to be where people congregate and not necessarily near the resources which generate a lot of unwanted noise. So I think here's actually good. Like if this, this jut is going to be residential in the future, then I'm going to put that there. Doesn't mean they're going to be walking back and forth. That's okay. We need a, uh, oh, we did that. We need, or got a new extraction zone. We knew, uh, place a lumber camp and I'm able to do all these things. So when they mean extraction zone, this is areas where you're allowed to collect resources and it will only work within the plot that you own. All right, so here we go. Trees and rock are what you can extract. I think I'll put that there just to be safe, but I'm pretty sure that actually would have worked with or without it. So, I need trees, I need lots of wood to get started, so I am allowing my guys to extract all those. When I uh, get out into future areas, I will be more selective. So, let's see here. Granary. They want a lumber thing. Best to put lumber near the trees. Notice the red ring, that means... <laughs> Excuse me, that does not mean hiccup, that means... Um, it will produce noise and other things that the residences don't like. We're going to put it out there. We need to assign people to the job of building things. I will allow two. I will speed things up. There they go. Notice. Actually, you can't really tell from here. Oh, wow. That was quick. Oh, you didn't really even... So, okay. This is the one thing I... Want... Oh, one of the only things I don't like about the game. Whoa! Is that right there. Uh, can I get that as a screenshot? Here we go. Screenshot. Ha ha ha! Alright, so, no. They're sort of unmoving dead eyes. Uh, I mean, they're not terrible models, and you don't really spend a lot of time looking at them up close, but it would be nice if they weren't quite so dead-eyed. Oh, I've done this. I need to assign a woodcutter. They will cut wood. Amazing, huh? And they that will produce logs. Logs will go into many early constructions. They want me now to produce berries. This is for the eats. In case you weren't sure, you eat berries, and therefore you live. So I'm going to... I don't need to right now, but I do like to sometimes pre-reserve space. So I'm just going to put them right up against the berries. And since they're going to need a stonecutter camp... I'm going to put a stone cutter camp down, which means here's another zone that is less ideal for houses and huts and such. And there's two. So we will assign one person to each. It will basically pick at random from who's available, who does not yet have uh, an employment. There we go, harvesting away. We've already got another five, thanks from like. 
I knew I have a new quest. I need a granary. This is for the storage of food. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is put the granary closer to where the people are. Hmm. Put it right here, I suppose. I suppose I don't have to do that. I'm just going to put it near the food. You're allowed to overlap some of these things, but sometimes that causes problems. So you do want to give a good uh, social distancing here to uh, some of that stuff. Let's get a cutter. How many do we have who are not yet employed? Two who are not yet employed. This one, every pretty much every one of these buildings has one or more employees. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, you gave up too soon. Probably getting more supplies. Yep, Warren is bringing three stone, right? Okay, so notice as they move about, they're producing their own beaten paths. They're producing their own roads, and I think that's awesome. That's a good feature. Um, you can get that in Dwarf Fortress. It's not obvious in Dwarf Fortress, but as they walk, they tend to you know, churn up the ground a little bit. And this is similar. Okay, so we need to go there. And we need to store the berries. Alright, so now they want me to build a well, a market, and, a, and assign a market tender. So, these are the sort of things you would have at the center of town. Now eventually, I notice that a lot of objects don't necessarily collide. So I put this here, right on top of the supplies. And as the supplies slowly disappear, the well will be left behind. It's fine. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't want to overdo the market, do I? But I do want to predefine. So here's a market stall, right? Put it pretty close. I will do another one. Actually, uh, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. That's interesting. Oh, does it go the other way? Interesting. All right. One is a fine. We'll just get this started right away. So we'll call it the old market. <laughs> the new old market. Let's speed things up, let them build this stuff. There they come, with the supplies. Wow, both done, just like that. At the same time, that hardly ever happens. So, somebody now doesn't need to be a builder anymore. Let's see, the two, I need two foragers. I don't... No, yeah, I don't need two builders right now. So let's take you off and put you on the market. Like so you're going to sell berries and you're going to do it here. And you will pull from the supplies from there. Now what do they want? Ah, uh, see, this is Alpha. There are some old, not old, um, un, uh, not re-skinned variables exposed at times. So increase your population will trigger immigration wave underscore underscore. It's yelling at me, but that'll be cleaned up someday. It's not a big deal. However, the next quest is to get them all up to 100 happiness, and they'll just do that right now by buying food. Yep, do it, do it, do it. Buy food. See? Buy food. And when they buy food, my income improves. Come on, you can do it. 94... 100. Okay, so now I get two new people. It's not always two. Sometimes it's one. Uh, and when they arrive, which actually takes quite a long time, they come from off-map. They can come from a few different directions, really. And here they are. You can see they've built a, a path. Holy crap, okay. So this unlocks the splendor. Holy crap. Uh, the kingdom recognizes your everything. You will have the following. Plus two swords and plus two hammers. Let's see. That actually refers to here. There's sort of like... Sp oh, warehouse. That was part of the quest I was just asked to do. So you can spend these points to get the sort of skill tree kind of business going. So quest completed. Unlock warehouse from the labor. I need that to s store non-food stuff. Whoa, two, yes, I know. First, you have a new request. Promote your first newcomers. I have to wait until the end of the month, and actually I need a building built before the end of the month. Otherwise, that's not going to work. So, what have I just got? I have just got the ability to paint residential zones, right? So, that makes sense that what I want is for the residential zones to be here around 
the center of town. And in this area that's considered green, it's more desirable. They will sometimes build in low desirable areas, probably the, you know, cheap housing kind of thing. But, uh, they want to gravitate towards the nice spots when they can. Now, technically, I don't have to obey these roads, but since these roads are already here, I kind of want to um, sort of honor them, I guess you could say. Like, let them become more ingrained in civilization here. So that's for residences. You'll notice probably almost immediately they'll start... Yep, somebody has claimed a spot. It will take a while for them to build it. If one new quest, unlock a trade route, and to do that... I need to have my warehouse. Notice the warehouse also produces noise and unfortunate things. Uh, let's see, I, I, that right there is off the edge, and here's a house. Ah. So actually, not ideal. Uh, well, no, that area produces rocks, but I guess over here by the wood is where I'll do it. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, right here. So there'll be a house near it, but it's not that bad. From the one people who are passing by, zero decided to join your village. But I do have my first house. She is very good at building. Woohoo! From one people who passed by, one decided to join up. Okay. So there's a few houses now. Three plus. Oh, that's our warehouse. It's another house. It's like five is all we're going to get for the moment. Ah, the warehouse requires a thing I have not made yet. Okay, so I need planks, not just logs. And in order to make those, I need a, not a lumber camp, a sawmill. And again, I'm going to put this right over here. Okay, right over here, in a place that makes sense in this grand scheme of things. Also is a couple more jobs. Let's see what we got. I think two unemployed people right now, so we could put them to use, but the thing is they were about to become useful. Uh, you cannot, you can pause things, and you can prioritize things, so, you know, they'll make this now before they make any more houses. Ah, two more, so I'll be up to 13 in a minute here. So this is good. We have the crudest of villages. Now they want me to make, also, manor. This is sort of like an administrative building. One thing I've noticed is that these things, mar uh, I don't know about markets, but churches, uh, wooden bridges, lord manors, and a few other things that will come in the future, they can happen outside your territory, which I've, I'm not sure if that's appropriate or not. But I like to make mine uh, extravagant, perhaps. So this is sort of a preview right here. So we'll make it kind of tall. You get limited options for add-ons, but they suck it into various places, like so, right? So, suck it in. Oh, some of the pieces flush with the ground nicely, and some do not. It drives me nutso. It really does. So, bring it over here. It tends to limit... Whoa! You, the base or original piece you picked, by the way, you can drag the whole thing around. So, perhaps we'll do that. And then, um, let's see... No construction. Uh, one thing I like about the manners that is not true for churches, when you flush pe uh, these pieces, they, they stay at a level. Their, their level is the same. But with churches, when we get around to it, you'll notice, I'll show you again, I probably have forgotten, I never mentioned it until, until that time, but uh, the pieces, like, these two sides, instead of being flush with the model, will be flush with the ground. And that also drives me nuts. You know, if I'm just making a tiny little list of things that kind of mess me up about all this, that's those are those are my uh, put that right there. This part I do wish the the stone went all the way down, but it does not. Please note, this will take them a while to make. The resources required are not... Whoa, they're not super small. Sorry, I'm just making... I'm trying to make sure that that's the same. Okay, it is the same on both sides. Good. 
So let's not get too overboard. Let's just put a door up front and call that our our manor. Start construction. Unless they've already started. They uh Oh, you built the sawmill. Okay. I need that to be housed now by... Do I have as many as three right now? I do... Oh, yes I do. I just got two more. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put both of these up to three because I'm going to need all the wood in the world pretty soon. Okay, and now this is done. We need... I'm going to just put the base stuff here. So, base stuff there and then the manufactured stuff here. Uh, but they want me to make room for tools. So what I think I'm going to do is make a whole second one. So second warehouse. Right here. Oh, that's outside my, my uh, ability. Not ability, but outside my territory here. Alright. Not quite flush. It's really hard to do, but it also doesn't matter. Alright, I'm going to make you a priority because I want to store all the things. And I don't really care if the manor house gets finished just yet. Oh, thank goodness. Two more people. I had to pull one off just to be able to drag uh, supplies back and forth from here. So how's this coming along? You need uh, a lot... You want, need a lot more of everything. Have you finished any of the parts? Any one of the parts has not yet actually been finished. This one looks like it's just about done, though. So the second one is done here. I'm going to steal yet another person. Well, are the other two people here yet? No. Okay, so I'm going to steal one from here. Slow down production a little bit, but at least make sure this person can do what they need. And here I'm going to get some of the other kind of supplies. Maybe also double up on the raw materials, since I tend to, for a while, at least have more of them than the stuff that's made from them. 21 out of 69, 9 out of 56. So I noticed that when they finish making a part, which one is finished? Okay, no, not that one. That's Sophie's bringing one stone for this. There you go. Which part is done? Uh, usually when they finish a piece, though, the totals get reduced by the amount that took to make the thing that has just been done. Ooh, and one person has arrived. So it looks like the core and the wood extension out front have been done. But the two side extensions, the tower and the door, still need work. Oh, you know what else reminds me of? There was a quest involved with this. So now that I'm willing to accept the pre uh, trade for tools... Ooh, I needed so many planks to... Okay, so here's another thing. There are three towns. They always are named the same things. In fact, I haven't named my town yet. Um... And you can initiate trade by giving them something they want. So you do this first one wants planks. I have been making planks, so I've completed a quest and I get to make well, yes, unlock a trade route. So now I want to put in sort of a permanent order. I want to buy up to let's say fifteen tools. So to try to keep my warehouse full of at least fifteen tools, let's make it twenty. And in exchange, I don't have to do anything in exchange, but if I have an excess like a huge excess of berries. I will sell anything above a hundred. I want to keep food around for very obvious, hopefully, reasons. So let's see. Uh, so they want, they're buying those. Oh, they're not buying wood. Oh, they're buying berries. They're buying uh, polished stone and planks and wine. Other guys, they want bread, tools, swords, uh, jewelry. These guys want fish, shirts, uh, honey, and barrels. I'm not sure what the odds are that I'll finish this one before the end of the third month. Week three, day six. And how many more do we have to go? Need more... Oof, a long way. So we'll probably won't see the results until the end of the fourth month. Don't quite need it yet, but I will. So I'm going to put down stone masons. Right, so they can make that, that polished stone we will need in the future. We have an envoy. This guy comes by and gives me little quests. Very, very small. Very sessile quests. So I can give 30 berries to the king. 
to the clergy or to the people, and either of those will give me some of those things, some of these basically these points I can buy uh, traits or, or upgrades with. So wait a minute, what did I want soon? Fisher's hut would be nice. Uh, wooden wall, wooden keep, that's a military thing. Rustic church additional parts. Well, I haven't even made a church yet. So let's worry first about the people here. As anybody should. Okay, so basically just turn in 30 berries. They have to be in storage. If they're in a market, that doesn't count. Um, I can do it already. Click to deliver. Boing! I have 200 gold that went into nowhere because I already had 500. <laughs> Uh, but I got those plus 10, which are really what I'm looking for here. Oh man, we're nearly done. 35 of 35, and 0 of 5 left, and I've got a third... A third person working the, the stone cutter camp, so... That should be pretty soon. Oh, yeah, I just saw something. Or is that somebody just working on it? Oh, yep, yeah, that's the part. Woohoo, and there it is. There it is. So now we can assign gerbs to some of these things. So the core... Great Hall, this is where the me meets to decide about end of month things where we so we got a couple of weeks we still have to wait. And then let's make the tower a place for the study room. I have yet to find out if there's a pr purpose to this, but Jax is now a scholar. Whatever the hell it does, he's gonna do it. The rest of these can become treasuries. And so I noticed I was 500 and now it's 1160. Let's make another treasury. 1760 and 2030. So now I have a much larger budget I can fill out and work with. And that, yeah. So come the end of the month, we'll uh, see what happens and then call it an episode. Oh, 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 look at that. Somebody is upgrading their house to a new capacity. These small ones are only for good for two, but the second uh, density level up is good for six. And they're doing this on their own. I think it's great that they pick their own housing plots. Whoa, whoa, whoa yes. I forgot about this. Oop. So, in fact, actually, I'm going to take one of these. I just put two more people here, but I'm going to remove one and allow them to become this, the rock polisher. Ah, uh, the woodcutter could not find accessible resource in zone extraction. And you know what I forgot? I forgot to buy myself a new plot. I will work my way out to the island eventually, but right now there's no point. So the question is, do I want to be here? Or down there. It's, the other choices don't make sense. So there's more. I don't know. I would like to head uh, branch out towards the fish. So I'm going to head down there for the moment. It's a bit early. This is iron ore. And it's a bit early for me to get there. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I can buy both. The first one was free. They're all 500 feet from here on out. So let's turn this off. Turn that off. Nope. Well, yes, okay, so let's paint some new extraction zones. Let them pretty much do what they want with the whole area. For now. It'll last forever. Um, go ahead and just take it all. Yep, yep, okay. And same with down here. Uh, residential, you might as well extend... Oh, right out to the edge. That's good. Uh, no more that way. No more that way. But go ahead and take over all of this. You're not going to use it all. But I want you to be able to pick and choose where you want to live so that then I can build jobs around you rather than the other way around. Any day now. There we go. So this is the interface for promoting your people. These are what I've got. They are all right now newcomers, except for nine serfs. How did I get nine serfs? Well, because um, I started with eight. That's weird. So I just promote all these people. I can only apparently do a few of them. We just use up all the ones we got. So these guys are remain uh, newcomers. And that gets us, well, not those two new people, those were accidental. Reforestation zone, uh, forester camp, sheep farm, weave a hut. Uh, as you can see, there are some industries popping up here. 
Uh, very good. And Splendor has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. But what? Ah. So, doing all this got me enough Splendor to unlock these. Whoops. Well, yeah, wouldn't keep is what I was probably going to end up being asked to work on anyways. So, let's see here. Nope, 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 nope. Yes, the army's growing stronger. We don't care. Uh, so that's nice. We've got a small town and a disproportionately large manor. And that's fine. We shall allow you to establish an outpost on your territory. As such, you will be able to participate in military campaigns, blah, blah, blah. What they want me to do is build that wooden keep. It may be a while before I do so. And it will certainly be another episode, because this one is done. Thanks for watching. Come again next time.